Now, with soaring inflation and a global supply crunch, the ramifications of the Ukraine war has now reached well beyond the borders of Russia and Ukraine. And as the crisis continues to worsen, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has now issued another fresh warning to the West, saying that the continued sanctions against Moscow can actually trigger a catastrophic energy price rise worldwide. He was speaking at an event on Friday and Putin has outlined the situation in the Russian energy sector, noting that despite the sanctions, the sector continues to remain very stable. He's also added that the Russian export earnings have increased by 3.5% from the previous year. He's also issued a pretty grim warning that if the West does not lift the sanctions on Moscow, then the consequences of the penalties will be felt globally. All this, once again, shows that the sanctions and restrictions against Russia cause much more damage to precisely those countries that impose them. Further use of sanctions policy can lead to even more severe and catastrophic consequences in the global energy market. Now, Kiev, meanwhile, has accused Moscow of triggering political instability in Europe by slashing gas supplies. Ukraine has said that the Russian gas flows through Ukraine and has now reached a historic low due to gas cuts by Moscow. Russia has already cut flows to Europe through the Nord Stream pipeline by 60% in recent weeks, citing technical issues. Now, amidst the mounting accusations, Kremlin has now said that it will also increase gas supplies if a turbine for the Nord Stream 1 pipeline currently being serviced in Canada were to be returned to them. The demand came after reports surfaced that Kiev had opposed the returning of the turbine to Russia's Gazprom, saying that it would violate the sanctions that had been imposed on Moscow. Kremlin, meanwhile, has also refuted claims that Russia is using oil and gas as a means to exert pressure on the West, as countries are stepping up measures to find alternate supplies. And Germany's biggest gas importer, Uniper, has said that it has submitted an application to the government for effective solutions to tackle the crisis, and that consumers will face a huge price wave if the situation is not controlled now. The German company has said that it is seeking additional funding through an increase in a credit facility with a state-owned bank. The Greece and Bulgaria, meanwhile, have opened a new pipeline as an alternate measure to Russian gas cuts. Bulgaria's outgoing Prime Minister Kirill Petkov and also the Greek Prime Minister Mr. Mitsotakis inaugurated the long-delayed IGB gas pipeline link between the two countries on Friday. Now, the pipeline was planned in 2009 as a way to link Bulgaria's gas network to those of its neighbours. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.